Now I'd like to start to draw the lobby in more detail for the first part of our project. So what we're going to do is to create a new worksheet again, and we're going to call this one lobby. I've changed the other one to site. And I'm going to drag and drop in our plan called ground floor. So we can see that this one is a lot more of a presentation drawing than the other one, which is much more technical. But this one's going to be very useful for us to help to identify not so much the structure. Some of that's still shown. It's, it's shown very differently in this instance. Uh, but more of the cladding, more of the finish, more of the facade. So that's going to be very helpful. What do we do? We need to again relate this. So we need to get the scale correct. We need to work it out in that way. So we're going to, in this case, invert the relationship. And so now we're going to use what we've already got of the lobby. Now that we've drawn the columns and drawn the core, to right click, show as trace reference, so we can see it. Again, the issue that we'll always have will be when we're using images, we can't see through them. So as soon as this is sitting over the top of my trace, it's making it very difficult to see. What do we do? We can't do much about that. If we send it to back, it still hides. Because our trace reference is only sitting under. Now there is a way to adjust this so we can see a differing view, but it's not really worth it at the moment. What we really want to start by doing is just aligning them and making sure it's straight. So I'm going to use a few lines in terms of projection to align my columns in this instance. So we're going to line up those columns. From center to center. And then again, edit, reshape, resize to bring, which one do we want? We want the one that is past the core. So we're after this one here, all the way down. Let's just trace what we've got here again to make sure that that's working. looking pretty good, it's looking very accurate. And so then we'll move it down into place once we've got that sorted. So let's now bring this from center to center, down into place. And then we'll invert that, so we'll go back to our lobby story. And now instead of looking at our site reference, now we'll look at our lobby reference. Right click, show us trace reference. So now we can see that a lot of this information is the same we see that we've got some differing walls here, we've got some facade walls rather than structural elements. So here that's just proof that we had the same problem that our plan is not representing necessarily the same way. So we see structure and then we see facade. And so the facade and the structure is not necessarily consistent. Uh, but this one's going to allow us to trace our facade in a lot more detail. So we can delete some of this information, these red lines that we were showing before was from the upper levels, but we can keep that if we want to and replace that with what we see here. So we see some of these columns. It's a structural column that's circular. We may also have a structural column here that is rectangular, or it may just be more facade detailing. So we can box this out to create a rectangular section. And we're going to use walls to do that. We're going to try to keep 3D for as much as possible and then only use 2D when we need to clarify elements. So now we have a, a facade. So for now, we'll draw this whole facade just for now using walls and doors. We can see what's happening here is we have a vertical aluminium mullion and then we have glass that spans between that. And then later, once we understand the walls and understand how to use walls and doors effectively, then we can substitute some of those for our more complicated curtain wall tool. So we'll start with just a standard wall and we can make that standard wall glass if we want to and we can make it 10 millimeters thick if we want to. 
just for now. And then once we've got some more detail, then we will add in the curtain walls. And with these columns, we've placed these columns based on being their structure. And we can see that we could slightly move these if we wanted to. And then we see beyond the structure, there is about 250, 240 millimeters of cladding. Now, when we're talking about that as a column in Archicad, what we're talking about is a core and a finish. So we can add in a finish of 240. And so now we're representing both the core and the finish. And we can change the materiality of these as well if we want to. Now we know it's not plasterboard, it's terrasade. But how do we represent that? Maybe we need to find uh, a porcelain or terracotta. Uh, for now, we can just use masonry brick if we want to. And then we can adjust that later once we have maybe some more information.